Hello everyone, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com and the US Tech Channel and this is my installation video of the Qi Charger receiver for the Samsung Galaxy S4. As you can see, I have quite a few of them here. I will be offering them uh, up to people through various channels including my forum at CricketUsers.com. Uh, I will be also doing tests so you get an idea of how fast the charge rates are, how uh, it works with all the devices I have here, all these chargers. Um, here's the front side. It is rated from the factory at 5 volts and 1000 milliamps uh, current. Here's the back side. It does have this small adhesive uh, strip right there so that you can secure it to the back of your battery so it won't move uh, in the future. Um, I already have one inside this right now and this is a spec candy shell case. You can see you place the device within range, uh, now charging wirelessly. So I'll show you what I did. Just pop open the back cover. Uh, you can see right there, it causes it to bulge slightly. I will flash an image uh, of how thick this device is. I did measure it. Alright, so now I'm taking off the back cover. By the way, this did have a speaking glass screen protector on the front, if you might have noticed that. And here it is. Basically, these two contacts touch these two prongs at the top. Insulation is as easy as that. If you want to mount it semi-permanently, go ahead and tear off the protection sticker for the adhesive. Line up the prongs and then press it down. As you can see, you can install your micro USB first or you can install it under it. Push this back down. Put the back door onto the device again. Make sure you clip all the corners. It will clip in all the way. Samsung back doors are, they feel flimsy, but they're pretty durable. Place it on a Qi enabled wireless uh, pad and you've got wireless charging for your Samsung Galaxy S4. And actually before I leave, let me grab the Optimus G Pro. I'll also be testing this with different cases on it. Some cases might not allow it to charge wirelessly or for NFC to work. Both of these devices have NFC enabled on them right now. Touch to beam. And there you have it, NFC is still working with the Qi wireless receiver installed. So for more information on this and more, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to see the uh, tests uh, with the various devices. Feel free to leave comments in the comments section below and I'll try to address those. If you guys want me to do any comparison, any other additional tests, I can do that as well.